All right, well, we're back today with uh, update podcast here. Basically, we got an update coming up from Justin on the island. Uh, if you've been following along, Justin's on an island. It is 10 days on an island. 10 days on an island. Uh, you know, a couple more seasons and you can beat out Lost. But more importantly, we got some, uh, well, if this was Tuesday, it'd be breaking news. We didn't record on Tuesday, so it is what it is. But breaking news, as of yesterday, coming out of Hoffman Estates, according to the Daily Herald and lots of other Chicago uh, like news articles, Hoffman Estates' Sears Center will now be known, starting September 1st, as the Now Arena, N-O-W Arena. Now, basically, uh, according to this graphic, because they're not going to pay for the Daily Herald, it says, a new 15-year naming rights agreement with Bloomingdale-based Now Health Group will, uh, will cause the 14-year-old Sears Center Arena in Hoffman Estates to rechristen as now arena on september 1st it's ironic that's happening september 1st basically next AEW event in chicago that's not at the actual downtown chicago arena basically if all that happens it'll be at the now arena it will not be the serious center anymore what terrible name dude this is worse than the smoothie this is not worse um smoothie king is definitely the worst name of ever of uh arena I think, but now we're we're going to the now arena. We're going to the now, and here's the thing: we're going going now to all out. That's gonna be the stupid thing we say for like. We're now going. We're now going. Are you going? Yeah, we're going now. Here's the here's the thing with this. Okay, there's a big thing with Chicago iconic places. So the Sears Tower will forever be the Sears Tower. You can call it the Willis Tower. You can call it the Justin Tower. You can call it whatever the heck you want. It will always be the Sears Tower. Same with the Sears Center. I graduated there, like and the it Rogers, will ever be... Like the Roger Center is always a Sky Dome. There you go. It'll forever be the Sears Center. It'll forever have a plaque on there that will say, All in, Sears Center Arena, September 1st, 2018. And then, you know, obviously the home of All Out, where Jericho won the title. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, th- I thought that was pretty crazy. Um, I will, uh, I guess I'll give some updates when they change all the branding and stuff. Maybe I'll go by and be like, hey, can I buy that Sears Center sign? I need it for my collection to go with my all-in and all-out stuff. So I thought that was pretty crazy. Yeah, by the term, because why would you need a Sears Center sign? It's a joke, dude. Calm the down. Ring, for the ring ape. Remember they tried to sell like, the ring apron for like $1,000? Honestly, wild. looking back, I mean, like, if someone was, like, a big collector, like, that's actually a pretty good deal. Like, if you know, all in what it means now, you know? It's a big Wasn't a turnbuckle, like, 500 bucks or something crazy like that? Something like that, dude. I wish I would have bought that. Oh, no, the turnbuckle was, like, $1,000, and the, the ring apron was, like, 25 I can't remember. It was so much. I was like, know. why is this yeah. so much money? But basically, the next time AEW's in Hoffman Estates, it won't be the Sears Center anymore, so... It'll be interesting. It's just the naming rights, so it's not like the arena itself. So um, I thought about this on the way home. I was like, oh, does that mean they're going to take down the plaque on the side of the building? Uh, I mean, they still might do that, but um, I think that the arena is just like, we're going to, like, you're going to keep it on there, even though it says Sears Center on there. So it's a part of history. And, you know, well, I, I got WWE Shop thing. They have these r- rookie shirts, dude. So you got. Oh, yeah. I saw you got, Isaac Yankum, okay. okay. Did you buy that? No, 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 I didn't buy it. Oh, you're just garbage. saying it, okay. Saxton Hardcastle. I don't know who that is. Who is that? Isn't that uh, Edge? Saxton Hardcastle? Yeah, Edge. That, Edge. that was his name. The Diamond Stud. Mean Mark Callow, Callus. That's crazy. I didn't know that Terry- one. Terra Rising, fucking Triple H. That's a good one. That's a good one. And then not a rookie shirt because he was in WCW, the Ringmaster. Shouldn't it be the Hollywood Blondes? Yeah, I mean, what a, yeah. So in 10 years, get ready for a Generico shirt, a Steen shirt, a Brian oh, dude. Shirt, a Tyler Black shirt. Wouldn't they buy Ring of Honor? Oh, man. I'm not going to buy Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor well, just you know like. I mean. They'll just buy the rights. They'll just be like, hey, yeah. and Claire, just like give her the little rights skis and um, 
the tape library and then we're good to go. We don't worry about anything else. While we're on the topic of WWE shop, you see these Eddie Guerrero things. They got the um the title, but more importantly, they got this like thirty dollar print and it looks amazing. Thirty dollar print. I saw that stupid it's like what, five hundred dollar belt? Yeah, yeah, no, more importantly, look at that belt right there. I linked it in the in the Skype chat. So From update my... on the island. We currently you have gotta see zero... this, though. Oh, hold on. I'll tell you. I'm going to tell you update on the island. That's what right. I'll snap you. I'm currently... That's a pretty good print. It's a really good print. Breach, but you can't even get it signed. Also, uh, while we're at it, shout out to a friend of the show, Tommy. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Tommy. Oh, so. Tommy's birthday today. I'll pull, I'll pull a little Insta... Insta... <laughs> <something. laughs> See, that's the thing. So what do you, what do you think? Okay, while, while we're here, um, what do you... Like, how do you feel about, like, if people don't know your birthday, but social media is the thing that's got to, like, help them remember? You think that's okay? Because I think so. That's fine, dude. You know what birthdays I, I, I forget, then I look on yeah. my Instagram, like, oh, shit. Yeah. And I just uh, it's someone else post, like, hey, happy birthday. It's funny yeah. because you know who forgot if you look through, the, if you look through stories properly, because mm-hmm. it usually happens, like, back to back to back to back. Yeah. If you know they all, like, like sometimes... I I posted birthdays and Griff has posted like one minute after me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, because like you you see someone else say it. And I, like, I also okay. done it too. I've seen like Griff or Rabbies or whoever, and be like, oh shit. That's why I've tried to. Uh, I've started to like go out of my way to like message or text the person so it's not public. So it's like a like you know like more personal. Like hey, like you know, happy birthday kind of thing instead oh, of like a, a loud no, like. I, I throw it out there. I'm like whatever. Yeah. So I tag you, you get the little DM, then you like it. Yeah. And you, we move on. It all works out. All right. So, so what update on the island. We have no power for some reason. Our generator is not working. No, first, our solar panel are not working. So we started charging with the generator. And for some yeah. reason, the generator is not working. So the, the sol- so we can't like plug in our stuff to the generator to run off the generator. And then mm-hmm. our solar panel is not holding a charge. So I'm currently using my battery to do this podcast. I have a battery uh, bank that I could probably get two, three charges out of. So today we uh, went on land and went, um, we were in a car for an hour charging our phones hmm. and doing errands. That's crazy. You got to charge your gimmicks, you know? So there, yeah. there's an update on the island. No power. Let's see if I get wow. power by the end of the week, though. So do you, be- when are you coming back then if you have no power? Uh, well, the, some, some lamps in here are run by propane. So we just light the lamps and per, turn the propane on and it works. Gotcha. Um, I have enough power to survive the night until tomorrow. And then we can go, we have to do laundry and stuff, go back in the mm-hmm. city, in the town and do laundry. So we'll do, do another car charge. But, um, I think we're probably going to leave Sunday. We're going to try to, we're going to have a couple of people come and try to fix this power situation before we leave. Hmm. Well, I mean, good luck with that because I don't know what I would do with no power. Why? I don't know. It's what just, do you mean? What, uh, what do you do with no power? I guess there's nothing you can do with no power. I can listen, I can listen to podcasts right now. I'm currently at 76% on my phone. Dude, when I was driving home today, I, I didn't have any internet, so I couldn't do my map. I couldn't do... Um, for, like, you, for some how reason, how you run out of data? How did you run out of data? How did you I run didn't, out of data? I I was what's it called? I was in uh, I was in the mall looking for cards, and the mall is like weird where it's like you know, like the parking garage is underneath, and then like the store is on top. Um, so like there's just no signal at all. So that's uh, you know, it couldn't um, it couldn't what's it called? Couldn't get connection, and then but for some you... reason, what? Wait, hold on. For some reason, what? I don't know, for some reason, it just, like, wouldn't reset to have internet. And then I randomly, I, I, I hit airplane mode and turned it on and off, and it was good to go. So There you go. I also so, have there you go. more breaking it's news. A different island. Now you know that these podcasts are going to be a little short to you for the next five, six days. That's true. Okay, wait, I got some other news, and then we'll leave. Um, do you know who Jay Cutler is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he, um, okay, so catch up to speed. He was the Bears quarterback for a long time. Then he went to the Dolphins. Um, I, I didn't like this guy at all. And then his wife at the time had a TV show 
on like the E network called Very Cavallari or something. And he was the most electric human being because he was not electric at all. Like he would just say stuff and like he would just like, you know, it would be like monotone or like he would just like do stuff like unironically. And it was just like the the most hilarious thing. So recently they got like a divorce or whatever. So now on his Instagram today, he's got a chicken problem. He's updating us on his chickens. His chickens have been getting killed. He doesn't know if it's like a wolf or a coyote or if it's an inside job by his cat. And um, so he has a chicken guy and the chicken guy brought him more chickens. So he's going to sit out and watch through the night to see who's killing his chickens. So you can follow this on if Jay had Instagram on Instagram. Hmm. And um, I mean, honestly, like if it wasn't for that TV show, like I, I hated Jay Cutler. I laughed when um, I heard that he signed for like six or eight years or whatever. Um, so the fact that like he did like a 180 on me and now I'm like, hey, I'd buy like a Dolphins jersey at Jay Cutler just because he's just such an awesome like, you know, awesome character. And uh, yeah, so I'll keep you posted on this uh, this chicken story I'd, with Jay I'd Cutler. I'd say one thing. Mm-hmm. What did Breach start making stock videos, dude? Dude, like, I told The day I left. Okay, so here's what happened. So he told me that he was going to Florida, and I was like, oh, so if you're going on vacation, are you going to do, like, Dave, and you're going to post, like, daily Twitter videos? You started this. You put the fucking idea in his head. So I told him, I was like, you make him think he's Dave Portnoy, the hundred million air net worth versus Stevie Breach, not a hundred million air net worth. I told him, I I told him to post, like, like, a quick like minute long um, update of the stocks every single Breach day. Breach doesn't do minute long videos. It's not BlackBerry where you have time limit. Breach because, has no time limit. He makes because, minimum six videos. Because Dave, when he was on vacation, he'll go on vacation in the month of July. The entire month of July, he'll go to Nantucket. And I'll do a, like a minute or two long video called the Golden Hour Report. And I'll just like talk about what he's doing on vacation. So I told Breach to do the same thing. And he said, Well, I'm not gonna post it to Twitter, I'm gonna post it to YouTube. And he's Stevie he's, Breach he's posted videos. a five minute forty eight second stock talk six twenty four twenty. These, video. these videos are like like five or six minutes long. And I was like, I was not expecting this. So I am like behind on them. But I, I do catch up on them. I will watch this when I come back get back home to full internet capacity capacity. Yeah. So yeah, I mean and you can see the uh you know, every day he's getting more and more tan. So, that's so Dave, fun. oh sorry, Steve thinks he's Dave Portnoy. He doesn't think; he just like is talking. Him. You know, he's, you know, he's just a gimmick. making what's it called, making videos. Anyways, the stock market is going down ever since Bree started making these videos. So, also, I looked on, um, I looked at NFL Shop, and I can get for forty-seven dollars a. Uh, Aqua game jersey of Jay Cutler, and they have my size. The only one in stock is my size. So, I'm not saying I'm going to buy that, but I think I should buy that. So, I'm yeah. Not right. Right Keep us posted. And if you don't hear from Justin again, then. Uh, no, I'll, no, you're going to hear from me. I will, I will do this podcast every day, even if it's five minutes. <laughs> I'll straight up upload a two minute video and be like, we could only, we have two minutes to talk. There we go. All right. That's it. We'll talk to you again after a while. Goodbye.